Hey, glad to see y'all back. Um, hope you guys are doing well, both health-wise and uh, with your investments financially. Um, <laughs> crazy that uh, we have a video today on one of the best investments you can get right now for under $100. One of my uh, favorite investments that I've been doing for quite a while um, that you guys can get in at this insane deducted price. Uh, we're gonna go over that, but first, Smash the like button for how red my face is right now. I don't know what's going on. Maybe because I worked in the sun all day. But uh, so guys, with the stock market going the way it's going, um, there is a lot of fantastic stocks that's, that is underpriced. You know, dividend stocks, monthly dividend stocks, growth stocks, value stocks, blue chip, startups, whatever, IPOs, all of that. Almost everything is basically undervalued, undervalued, right? It's at a discounted price. And although I have been adding several new positions to my portfolio, both my M1 Finance and my Robinhood portfolio, um, one staple in my Robinhood portfolio that I've always owned with all of my portfolios except the M1 Finance is uh, what we're gonna talk about today, which is SPHD. And this ETF is by far one of the best investments you can get as far as a uh, passive investor. Even hell, even if you're a active investor, this is one of the best uh, stocks you can get, ETFs you can get, and I'm gonna tell you why in a minute. SPHD, if you don't know what it is, is Invesco's S&P 500 high dividend, low yield volatility. Lo I'm sorry, high yield dividend, low volatility ETF. <sighs> sorry if I keep looking down. I have my uh, paper here. Don't wanna show, but I have my paper here that I'm reading off. <laughs> SPHD is an ETF that cherry picks the market instead of basically delivering the whole basket to you. Meaning it cherry picks the stocks that at once instead of delivering the whole basket like VU or VTI or other you know index funds or ETFs would uh, do. Now it chooses the 50 of the least volatile but highest yielding dividend. So if you get 50 of the top high dividends with the least volatility meaning it is subject to very very little volatility in the market if we have some crazy things going on like we do now, even though it has shot down quite a bit, that's because everything is, was in my opinion, overpriced at the time. But you can always get this at a great price, whether if you're dollar cost averaging up or down with it. <laughs> and this ETF heavily overweighs on traditionally defensive industries such as utilities and building materials, basic materials, and really underways on volatile areas in the stock market such as tech and consumer cyclical companies. Basically what this means is all of the money going to it that's in this ETF is going toward a safer, less volatile area, hence the low volatile uh, part of the <laughs> name, but it is very, very, uh, it can be very volatile, especially for times like this when we have the market crashing and coming up and crashing and coming up. Um, but you know, that's the way these stocks work. No one really knows how they're gonna act. But if you go off of historical data, you'll know a little glimpse of what's gonna happen in certain times. But for just a quick second, we're gonna jump into Robinhood and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. As you can see, we are up like 160 something bucks on the day, which is great. Yesterday we were up over like 11 or 12%, uh, around 11%, let's say. But let's go to SPHD, which I have been adding to slowly here, but I'm going to start ramping up the speed. SPHD, I own 10, I own 13.404 uh, shares. So I just wanna show you guys here like this. Over the past five years, you can see the growth. Um, it is a horizontal slash upward motion. It is a slow growing uh, ETF, obviously, because it is has the least volatile areas. It's basically for a defensive strategy in your um, portfolio. But still, every month, 
you are getting money from this here stock. So this is a monthly dividend yielding stock. So this is definitely something you guys would want to look into if that's what you're about, which I think it is. So as you can see here, the PE ratio is 17.51%. So as we know, um, generally speaking, between 10, under 20% uh, is relatively cheap. And as you can look here, if we at $29 uh, right now, as we can look before it dropped, it was around 40 something bucks, so $43. Even let's say late uh, 2017, it's still at 42 bucks. So, you know, definitely, definitely, definitely undervalued right now in my opinion and i definitely do plan on adding a substantial amount of money to this maybe get to 50 shares before it shoots past 30 or you know 33 something like that at least try to because we all know the market could shoot up another thousand points two thousand three thousand points tomorrow unlikely but we all know the way that market's been acting lately it can do anything <clears throat> but with a dividend yield of 7.169%. Let's check out how much that is. Dividend yield of roughly 15 to 16 uh, cents per share. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's, it's relatively good, especially for a monthly paying dividend stock. But let's go ahead and check out here. SPHD tracks a dividend yield index comprising the 50 least volatile names chosen from a short list of the S&P 500 75 highest dividend yielding securities. Out of the top highest 75 yielding dividend securities, it picks the 50 least volatile out of the top 75 highest. But let's head on over to Yahoo Finance and I wanna show you guys exactly what their 10 biggest um, holders are for the sphd so top holdings iron mountain inc 3.29 percent williams companies 2.93 percent philip morrison international 2.77 percent uh altria group 2.74 percent ventas inc 2.69 percent at&t 2.56%, Simon Property Group, 2.54%, Kimco Realty Corp, 2.48%, International Business Machines, IBM, 2.38%, 2 2.38%, uh, Gillard, Gillard, I don't know what that is, something sciences, 2.29%, uh, net worth, net assets of 3.24 billion. There's one more thing I want to show you guys before I hop off this phone, why this is pretty great to own rather than owning quite a few different, uh, rather than owning quite a few different stocks just to compete with this one. If you go ahead and Google SPHD, you go down, you'll see ETF.com. What I want to show you is exactly how many areas of the stock market we you're exposed to when you own SPHD. And at $29 a, uh, $29 a share right now, this is a steal, no doubt. So, top 10 sectors that you're in. This isn't all 10, this is just the top 10. Top 10 sectors, 37.48% is financials, 15.16% is utilities, consumer non-cyclicals, 13.99%, energy, 11%, consumer cyclicals, 5%, telecommunications, 4%, healthcare, 3%, Basic materials, 3%, industry, industrials, 2%, and technology, 2.41%. As you can see here, Progressive Corporation, Dominion Energy, General Mills, GM, um, Williams Corporation, all that, the top 10 holdings may have changed up a little bit from Yahoo to this, but as you know, where you find different sources, you'll get different information. I definitely plan on adding more shares to my position of SPHD, guys. Um, Listen, in this time of high volatility, you want something with low volatility. This is the ETF that myself chooses, that I personally choose. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I didn't go to college for this. I'm just some guy on YouTube, so don't take my advice. 
Um, I'm just telling you what I feel and what I see. So, anyway, uh, yeah, SPHD is something great to get into if you're not too certain on what to pick for a uh, decent dividend yield, de decent dividend stock. SPHD is a good place to start, in my opinion. But guys, look, if you find value out of this video, go ahead and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you made it this far without subscribing or you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and smash that red subscribe button, turn it gray so you can join this little family we got going on on my channel over here. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you guys own SPHD or are looking to get into a good stock and this is one that you guys want to get into. Like I said, right now it's probably one of the best times to get into it, especially that huge, huge drop we found, we had in the market, uh, guys. But look, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here if you guys wanna continue your journey to financial enlightenment. All you have to do is click one of these videos if you wanna start your journey to financial enlightenment. And if you want to start your journey to financial enlightenment, click one of the links in the bio that have that are links to um, brokerages. And once you, if you use that any of the links in the bio to to start a brokerage, you will be able to get some benefits from it, and I will get benefits from it also. So go ahead and check it out and see. If you don't, it's all good. I'm just here to help you guys, and that's one way I can help y'all by giving y'all a head start whenever you start your journey. Anyway, guys, look, I'm gonna get out of here. Hope you guys stay safe out there. All right.